there this is tech engineer tv and in this tutorial we're going to learn about concept of dora process so dora process is basically uh, involved in the working of dscp so dscp working as we all know that is a server client model it means that uh, there are server which provides uh, the ips which provides the uh, connections to the clients from which one client will able to communicate with another client or even from the server so basically there are there could be a multiple servers and those servers are there to assign ip those servers are there to provide clients a, a, a proper way a proper chain to connect because if you have a couple of computers out there only way is to connect all the computers with each other is a proper channel you might connect those computers each other with the cable but unless you're not providing the ip all the computers are not able to communicate with each other so either in the local way either mac address is property where you can connect uh, computers with each other or in the enterprises uh, way or a server and client model is required in that case one server work will allow the connection of all other connected computers and that's dscp is all about DSCP work in UDP port number 67 and 68. So 67, basically all the DSCP servers are using this uh, 67 port number and 68 port number is of the client. Clients basically use the 68 uh, port number. And the third thing is Dora. We're going to learn about Dora. So these three um, uh, important points are required these three are the important points of uh, dscp dynamic host configuration portable protocols require you to learn about dscp dynamic host configuration protocol is server client model it works in udp power number 67 and 68 it also works in dora process now first what is dora now it's quite important point that what is basically a dora this dora is uh, made by four word d starts from discover o from offer r for request and a for acknowledgement dora it means the four words are there four words which made dora a complete uh, this is a shot and these four words are uh, will include you to complete dora so what is discover offer request and acknowledgement let's find it out more about dscp first now this is what the dscp working is all about when we have already configured DSCP, we have installed DSCP, we configured DSCP and we connected DSCP with the switch and other computers are connected with the switch. Now what thing has happened that these clients are getting the IPs from the server and automatically from there uh, these particular IPs are assigned to the computers computer can connect with the server and computer can connect with each other as well in the same way there is one particular laptop user comes a laptop user get connected with the server and also with the with the network now what happens that this particular laptop wants to communicate with the server maybe not dscp server any other server of the network or the other clients of the network in that case this particular uh, laptop user is a remote user this is not the enterprise user it is it is being uh, come from outside then how in that case this particular laptop user all of the sudden will start getting the access of the network so obviously if he 
connected into the outside network then surely he will create one message a message he would that laptop will broadcast and will broadcast to the entire network now what happens that when the message broadcasts then all of the packets all the packets will distribute to other uh, system as well the same message will distribute to other uh, uh, server as well and other client as well because that laptop has generated a message that he wants that that particular system wants to discover the network because that that particular system wants to connect with the networks in that case at this in that case that particular uh, message needs to be generated and needs to be distributed needs to be broadcast in that case what happens that when dscp realized that this is a new server this is a new computer and server needs to respond on it in that case dscp server offers uh, a particular uh, by sending a uh, sending a particular packet by sending a message and that message will also be broadcast to entire network so it will be same the offer message will be broadcast everywhere but since that message consists the ip that consists the mac address of the new laptop user in that case that laptop user or that particular computer will accept that that accept the offer yes that uh, there is no problem i'm ready to accept that uh, particular uh, packet a particular you in in the message it's written that you 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 have that uh, ip and you you can take the ip whether you want to accept the ip or not in that case laptop user will accept in that case how it will going to respond in that case laptop user will request back by sending a packet that yes i'm accepting no issue out there because ev everything goes out then that particular laptop user will accept that and will send the message once again that will be broadcast back to the entire network and then that request message will be back to the entire number by broadcasting that yeah i'm there i'm ready to accept in that case server once again send a message and this message will be known as acknowledgement by sending a packet back to the network and once again it will be broadcast to everywhere that yes this message has been acknowledged yes this ip has been assigned to the laptop user and it will be broadcast back to everywhere and the reason it will be broadcast everywhere because it might be in the network there is other dscp server connected as well might be there is a secondary dscp server is connected so that dscp server can also ex that dscp server can act can also check out that this particular laptop user got this ip and this laptop user now uh, this is the mac address this is the uh, ip address and by this is the uh, particularly it has been uh, find it out yeah this is the laptop user this user got this mac address and this mac address got this ip and it has been assigned this had been allocated so this is what the total dora process is that first a laptop user connected i'm i'm, I'm giving the example laptop user because uh, it, it looks to be uh, more convenient to understand so first laptop user connected to the network it then sends the packet packet sends to uh, the entire network it is broadcasted remember uh, packet is uh, there are packet generated so what exactly it is uh, there will be a packet in which it is 68 port number source port number is 68 and destination port number is 67 it means the packet starts from the laptop to the entire network packet starts from 68 
and destination was 67 because the uh, particular laptop works in the 68 port number all the clients work in the 68 port number only server works in the SCP works in 67 port number so destination port number in that case will be 67 and whenever DSCP send a, a packet to the client then the in that case source will be 67 and destination port number will always be there 68 when DSCP send a packet to the client and when clients send a packet uh, to the server in that case it will be a 68 source port number is 68 but the destination port number is 67 so all the time any computer get connected will send a packet and that packet will broadcast that packet will be uh, will be there will be reached to the dscp server as well to discover the network in that case dscp server request uh, offers the network yes I can allocate this IP uh, to the MAC address and if everything goes right then particular laptop or particular user who is just connected can request that yes I'm accepting this you can allocate to me again that message broadcast everywhere and then the SCP server when accept it will send an acknowledgement that yeah it's no problem there is no issue out there and uh, I'm uh, th there is no issue hence this particular IP has been acknowledged this particular IP has been uh, allocated to the user hence acknowledgement sent to entire network so there is no unique way that uh, this DCP server DSCP server is basically working the uh, with, with, with the client in a unicast way because the thing is that other computers are also connected with each other and also connected with the network so in that case uh, there would be a possibility out there that if you start working the U unicast way then in every time you have to uh, every time you have to inform every time by informing the number that this is the issue and this is what you have to acknowledge so it's better that's why the SCP works in a broadcast manner so the packet broadcast to everywhere since they the clients work in 68 port number and the server works in 67 port number so even if a client uh, send a packet to the client there is no issue because DSCP server gonna uh, accept that message because the source port number starts from 68 when the destination was 67 and if DSCP send the packet uh, then it would be a source port number is 67 and destination will be 68 if other clients are having IP then there will be no clash if other if, if another client is get added then then uh, there will be again a broadcast will be there and which IP is uh, associated to which computer it will be get get allocated and according to that acknowledgement we send to the entire network so this is what the dora process is that a computer get connected with the network it has sent a packet to discover the network in that case dscp sent a packet to offer a network it this is the network and we are going to allocate this ip whether you're gonna accept or not when computer say when everything goes okay then you say yes i'm going to accept that a request a message once again get broadcasted in that case there is a source port number 68 67 destination number so dscp will accept rest will be just uh, check out the entire process and in that case this dscp server once again send an acknowledgement to the entire network so even if it's a secondary dscp server there is no issue acceptance will be made so hope you learned something about dora process this is what the dora process is all about thanks for watching